Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today you will need a band, a resistance band, a loop, and optional weights. I have three pound weights. You can grab water bottles, you can grab five pound weights. Definitely have a set of water bottles beside you because the five pound weights may be a little too heavy. A lot of endurance strength training here. Definitely get a band if you don't already have one. I've linked a very reasonably priced set in the link below. It's a five pack. If this does not feel challenging enough, this is very important. If this does not feel challenging, all you have to do is get a different band. So they level the bands easiest to hardest. The pack below is a set of five. So if you're doing the lightest one, you may wanna up it to about the third medium heavy lightest <laughs> resistance. Just up, up, up your band. The more resistance the band has, the harder it will be. All right, guys, let's get it going. Go ahead, step through that band, place the band somewhere in between the calves and the ankles. So another indicator that it may be too light is that the band will start to roll up. Sometimes the band will do that even when it's heavy, but that's really annoying. <laughs> Grab your optional weights. Let's take them to the heart. Feet about hip distance apart. So for right now, the feet will no, come no closer than what they are now. Toes face forward, start to root through the back of the heels. Chest, crown is long. Start to send the hips back, sit back in that seat. Rise the chest a little bit more. Let's just take it to a squat. So down for two, lift for two. Down for two, lift for two. Keep a nice bend in the elbows. Bring the weights forward to about eye level and then on the way back, draw the elbows in. Draw the shoulder blades in, little squeeze. Go up for two, down for two, go up for two. So you're just sitting back into that chair, keeping a nice alignment. Knees aligned over the second to third toe. Sit back for two, lift for two, down for two, lift for two. Four more like this, guys. And three will hold bottom. Here's your last two. Last one. Now go ahead and hold. Bring the hands to the heart center. We'll walk it two to the right and then two to the left. Take it right in, right. Go in now left two. Step it wider, go right for two. Now left for two. Let's take it to a tempo. Take it right, two, left, two. Remember, keep that, those feet no closer than hip distance. So you gotta step out to feel the resistance. Beautiful. We'll do this for about 30 more seconds. And if this is easy, sit back in that chair. I am already regretting putting my hair down. I never do that. I was like, hey, I'm having a good hair day. I'll keep it down. Oh God. You know, you love and you learn. About 15 more seconds, guys. Keep stepping it wide. Sit back in that chair if you're not feeling it. About eight more seconds. Last seven. Here's your last six. Four more. And three, you hold center. Last two. Now hold center. Sink that booty back. Whew. Regain the breath. Root through the heels. We step it wide right, wide left, in and in. Super slow, let's go. Go right, go left, go in, then in. Right, left, in, in. You got it, right, out, in, in. Right, left, in, in. So you're still rooting through the heels, stepping out. And if you're not feeling those glutes, glutes fire up, so get one inch lower. Lift that chest. Out, out. Now take it to a tempo. Go out, go in. Go out, go in. This is where we really start to feel it. Now take those arms with it. Woo! Out and in. Draw the shoulder blades together on the way back. Graze the elbows. Here's your last eight, seven, six more guys. Five more. Last four. Last three. Last two, then you'll hold. Last one, now hold it here. Sink it down. Release the arms out to the side. Thumbs on top. 
to count squats down, to count up. Take it down for two, lift up for two, down for two, lift for two. Take those thumbs right to shoulder level, and then bring it back down. Beautiful. Down for two, lift for two. Make sure those feet are wide enough so you're feeling that resistance on the outer thighs, and I know I do. Keep it going. Eight more. Woo! Here's your last seven, guys. Inhale down. Exhale up. Slight bend in the elbows. Four more. Last four. Bring it up. Three. And two, we take it to a different count. It'll be three down and one up. Here we go. Take it three, two, one, drive up. Three, two, one, lift up. Three, two, one, lift up. You got it, three, two, four more like this. And then we'll switch to those tempos to that single. Take it, three, two, one, lift. Three, two, more. Here's your last one. Three, two, eight, quick. Go eight, lift. Seven, lift, six more. And five, your whole bottom. Last four, Woo. three, two, hold. Turn to the left, lift the right toes off the ground, shift the weight to all four corners of that left foot. Bring the hips square. So this may be a good time to grab a chair if you need more stability. Start to root through that left foot, hover the right toes off the ground. So here's the hip open. Hips are square. Hands go to the outside of the hips. Start to lift that right heel back, then tap. Back, then tap. Keep a nice bend in that stable left leg. Beautiful. Remember, root through the foot. Engage that core. Deep belly draws up and in. Lift, then lower. All right, guys. Let's add those tricep kickbacks. Kick it back, draw it in. Reach the pinkies long. Pinkies long while you kick back. Arms and foot in one motion. Out, then in. Out, then in. A few more like this, guys. And then we're slowing it down. Two count back and two count in. Back for two, in for two. Back for two. Slower isn't always easier. Sometimes it's harder. It forces us to feel the resistance change, to stabilize, contract those muscles, reach the pinkies back, draw the shoulder blades together at the top. Go back, woo, and in two more. Back, and in, last one like this. Then we have three counts up, and one count down, let's do it. Go three, two, one, lower. Up, higher, highest, lower. High, higher, highest, lower. Three, two, I am sweating. Come on, take it. Three, two, one, lower. Three, two, one, two more like this. Come on, up, woo! Last one. Now hold it at the top, give me those little pulses up. Up and in, up and in, up and in, up and in. For four, three, two, now hold, hold. Take those pinkies one inch higher, hold and squeeze. For four, three, two, step it, two to the right. Go two to the right and two to the left. Two to the right and two to the left. Oh my goodness, guys. <sighs> Again, if you did not feel that, I want you to change your resistance bands. Not right now, but the next time you do this, because we gotta hit that other side. We don't want those sides to not be in full equilibrium, right? Oh, catching our breath here. Then we'll step it to that squat. It will be about hip distance apart, knees go aligned over the second to third toe. Here's your last one each side. Now hold it center, hold it center. Take it down for two, a lift for two. Root through the heels, send that booty back. Take the weights to eye level, then lower. Oh, about shoulder level. So thumbs kind of going right below the chin, then drawing it in. Down for two, in for two. Down for two, in for two. Two more, down for two, 
in for two. Last one, then it's three counts down. One count up, let's do it. Three, two, one, draw it in. Three, two, one, draw it in. Again, three, two, one, bring it in. Three, two, more times. Three, two, one, draw it in. Last one. Now go halfway up, hands to the heart. We step it left, we step it right, we take it in to home base, which is right here. Go left, go right, go in, go in. Left, right, in, in. So if you don't feel it, what I want you to do is just sink it lower. So that was pretty drastic. If you need to come up higher, go higher, take it out, then in. I mean up, then down. Go up and down, up for two, down for two, not tempo. Up, down, bring it up, bring it down. Up, bring it down. Woo, you got this, come on, eight more. Seven, six, and five, we hold it wide. Last four, three, two, one. Now hold it here, release the arms out wide, thumbs on top. Go down for two, lift for two. Down for two, lift for two. So thumbs coming right to shoulder level, and then releasing down. Woo, you got it. Down for two, lift for two. Two more. Down for two, lift for two. Last one, then we take three counts down. One count up, let's do it. Three, two, one. Drive it up through those heels. One, lift up again. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, four more. Three, two, one, lift up. Three, two, more times. Come on, sink that booty lower, then push off through the heels. Now take it to a tempo. Down, lift. Seven more, guys. Six more. And five, you hold bottom. Last four, woo! Three, two, now hold, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Great job, turn towards the right, little bend in the right knee, Whew. root through all four corners of that right foot, so much so that that left toe can come off the ground. Square off the hips, draw that deep belly up and in, draw the quad up and away from the knee, just start to lift. Lift through that left heel. So think of reaching the left heel, back and up. Lifting from that seat crease, that meaty part of the butt. And if you need a little more assistance, grab a chair and just hold on to it. So here's my pretend chair. Here's not a little slight angle from the hips. Awesome option. Bring the weights to the hips, palms face in, and add the tricep kickback. Go back. Tap, back, tap. Extend those arms long. Pinkies, reach up and in. Up and in, slight. A little in with the shoulder blades. Keep reaching, releasing, reaching, releasing. Awesome job. Two count up and down. Go up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two, you got it. Up for two, down for two. All those stabilization muscles in that core are really kicking in right now. Legs on fire, draw it in. That standing leg, I know the left leg is working, but the right leg's gonna feel it too. Now three counts back, two, one, draw it in. Three, two, one. So really focus on your gaze. So I'm not looking at you guys right now. I gotta focus about one foot in front of my mat. Nice neutral neck. Three, two, one, two more. Three, two, one, last one. Then you take it to those singles. Right now for eight in seven. Keep kicking that heel up and back, up and back. Here's your last four, three, and then you hold. Two, now hold, hold it for eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, to release the left foot and just step it side to side. Woo! 
giving that leg a nice needed break. Whew. Grab a drink of water if you need it. Hi, yeah, yeah. Eight, seven, and six, you'll hold. Four, three, two, now hold. Turn towards the left side of your mat. Set the right foot in, bend the knees down like you're taking off your pants. <laughs> My examples are weird. Okay, release the weights out to the side. Palms are wide, fingers spread. Release the palms. Go ahead, step the toes back. And you're in a plank. Start to push off through the palms. Hollow out the armpits. So we're not here, we're not resting in those shoulders. You're pushing, staying active in the shoulders, pushing that mat away. Draw that deep belly up and in. Crown reaching forward, heels going back. Quads engage, glutes engage, everything engage. Just hold and squeeze, nice active plank. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 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 two, and release those knees. Okay, so a little tricky part here. Go ahead, take that band, bring it down on the left side, so underneath the heel. Underneath the heel, and extend the right leg back. So, as you can see on my left leg, it's kind of going right below the ankle, in between the ankle and the toes, underneath the foot. Right leg, same position as it has been. Okay, so two options here. You can stay onto your hands, or if it feels better, come down onto the forearms. So sometimes I like to come here if I have ankle weights or weight behind my knee, but I kind of like this position better. So play with it, see what works better, see which way you can activate the glute muscles a little better. Everyone's different. My way may not be your way, and that is cool. All right, guys, so square off the hips. Hips are open, hips are now square. Flex the foot, big toe pointed towards the shin. Use the core to float the right toes off the mat and just start to lift it up, lower down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So you really have to engage that core to hold everything else still besides the leg. Up and lower, up and lower. Think about lifting from that seat crease, lifting from that booty. We all want those nice booties, right? It's almost summer. Eight more. Seven guys, and six will hold. Last five, last four, three, two. Now hold it up, make those little pulses, an inch up, an inch up. Go one inch higher. Your leg should be on fire now. Eight, seven, and six will hold. Last four, three, two, now hold. Really firm up that core more than you have. Float the left hand off the mat and reach it long. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Focus the gaze. Take the hand and the foot down and then lift it up. Take it down and lift. Down, lift up. Down, lift up. And if you have that band heavy enough, you should be hating me right now. If you're not cursing my name, start to think about maybe going a little higher with that resistance on that band. Eight more, seven, and six will just hold. Four more, three, two, one. Now hold, just hold, stabilize, engage. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep the leg raised, release the left hand down, Bend the leg over so the left toes are pointing back. Now let's bring that right leg down, oh well. <laughs> let's have the feet, the toes, have the toes. Start to push off through the left hand. Left foot can go behind, but that's not gonna work with my bands. So my heel is pointed, my left heel is pointed now towards my right heel. So side plank and a modification. Take that right hand on the hip. Firm up the core, and if ever you need a little more padding under that left knee, grab a towel or something to keep it nice and cushioned and feeling good. All right, guys, so here's where we stabilize that core. Float the right foot up, start to lift it up, lower down. Lift it up, lower down, lift and lower. So if your band is rolled up around that left toe, it may be a little uncomfortable. 
If you don't have shoes, go ahead, maybe pause it, realign that band. That's the only crappy thing about resistance bands is sometimes they'll roll up. Even when it's heavy and hard, they'll still roll up. All right, guys, let's make this one step harder by releasing the right hand long. Eight more. In seven, you're gonna hold that leg up. Keep floating the legs. Try not to tap it down. Last four, three, two. Now hold, just hold. Reach the outside of that right leg one inch higher. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three, two, and one. Release the little right hand down, curl the right toe under, and just shimmy the left leg back here in a plank. Whew. Let's hold, let's push our hands against the mat. Resist the mat with the hands. Hollow out the armpits, really engaging those shoulders. Not only is plank awesome for the core, it can be awesome for the entire body if we make it. Woo, firming up everything. Making the body into a surfboard. Hold and squeeze for eight, six. Y'all hold here. I'm gonna turn around to the other side so y'all can see me. Keep holding. Come back to that plank. Woo. Hold, hold, hold. For eight, six, four, three, two, and release the legs long. Slide that band underneath the right foot. Curl the right toe under. Extend the left leg long. You can stay onto your hands or come down to the forearms completely up to you. Hips are open, hips are square. Firm up that belly, maybe put something cushiony underneath that knee and start to take it up and down. Lifting from that glute, lifting and resisting. So I'm tapping my foot right now. That's option one, to make it a little harder, float the toes. Float the toes, you'll have to engage the muscles in the glutes and the core just a little bit more. And always you can bring that band just a little bit higher with that foot. But if you start to feel that belly sink, don't bring that band that high. Work on firming through the core, keeping a nice neutral spine, and then lifting from the glute. So we don't want that belly dropping down. We want it nice and neutral. Let's do eight more. Last eight, seven, Woo. six more. And five, you'll hold it high. Last four, last three, Woo. two. Now hold it up, hold it up, little pulses. Think up, 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 up. Here's your last eight, seven, and six. You're just gonna hold four, three, two. Now hold it, guys. Hold it and squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release the right toes down. Great job. Bring it over to a nice modified side plank. Reposition the band if you need to. Start to firm it through the core so much that you can float the left toes. And I feel wobbly already. Let's go. Take it up, <laughs> take it down, take it up, take it down. So here's a great example of when to focus the gaze. When I focus my gaze, I feel much more in control and you might too. So it's called a drishti point, a non-moving focal point. Right now, I'm looking at, I don't know, some dried paint on the ground. <laughs> That's my drishti. Eight more guys. Seven, if you can, release the left hand towards the sky. Here's your last four, three, two. Now hold it up, little pulses. Think up an inch, up an inch, up, 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 up. Eight more than you hold. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold. Bring that leg one inch higher. Hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Release the left hand down. Release the left foot. Wiggle the right leg back. Come back into that plank and hold. If a plank on your hands is uncomfortable, if your wrists start to hurt, modification, just come on to the forearms or release the knees down, modified full plank. Completely up to you. And I, I never regret doing a workout, but man, am I feeling my workout from this morning. Whew. 
Oh. oh my goodness. Keep it going. Keep pushing, keep resisting. All right, guys, we're gonna take this one step farther. Left foot out, left foot in, right foot out, right foot in. Left, go in. So like a little clock ticking back and forth. Right, in, left. Now tempo, go right, go left. Right, go left. Right, go left. Eight more. Last seven. Keep breathing. Last five. Woo. And four, you'll hold. Three, two, one. Now hold. Take the feet out, take it in. So now a little jump, a little jump. But if you need to, take it to that step that we were just doing. Let's do eight, bring it in. Seven, bring it in. Six, bring it in. Five more, then you hold. Last four, three, two, now just hold that plank, reline for eight, seven, and six, those knees go down, four, three, two, and release. Release the tops of the feet and send the hips back to the heels. Arms go long and let that crown just rest. Oh, and we are done, guys. For now, unless you want more. Oh. Start to draw the hands to frame the face, push off through the palms. Start to shift the weight over onto the right hip. Oh, and just bring it back to a nice little seated position. Release that band from off of the legs, bring it off to the side. I'm never working out with my hair down again. My hair was straight, now it's not. Oh, how do you girls work out with your hair down? I don't, I don't, I mean, props to you. Awesome. Hands behind the hamstrings. Inhale, crown long as you exhale. Slowly start to round through the spine. Roll down one vertebrae at a time until the neck is the last thing to come onto the ground. Draw the heels towards the glutes. Extend the left leg long and then cross the outside of the left ankle over the right quad. Draw the right, draw the right quad into the chest. Left hand goes underneath the space you just created to clasp the right hand on the outside of the leg. Flex the feet, nice active feet. As you inhale, push the left elbow against that mean part of the left inner thigh. As you exhale, draw it in. So inhale, opening up that left hip. Exhale, hugging it in just a little bit more. And do that a few more times. Hugging oh, the breath, come back to normal. Lay, release the left foot down to the mat. Inhale, right toes to the sky as you exhale. Cross the right ankle over that left quad. Draw the left quad in towards the chest. Take the right hand underneath that space you just created to grab a hold of the left hand on that hamstring. As you inhale, feet are flex. Push that right elbow against that right inner thigh. As you exhale, hug it in. So that was a big exaggeration, but you all get the point now, right? Inhale, right hip open. Exhale, draw it in. Whew. And do that a couple more times at your own pace. Maybe even holding it longer if I'm not holding it long enough. I understand. And slowly release. Draw both soles of the feet towards the sky. Bend in the knees. Take the hands to the outsides of the feet. Take the elbows on the insides of the legs. As you inhale, same concept. Draw the hips open as you exhale. Draw the knees a little closer to the earth. For a little happy baby pose. Maybe rocking it side to side. If you'd like. Bring it still. <laughs> Hug the hamstrings into the chest. Get yourself a few spine rolls up. On this next roll, come all the way up. Turn towards me. Fix your head if you need to. Ground the sits bones onto the yoga mat. Inhale, arms reach over your head. As you exhale, side bend up and over to the left with that right hand. Inhale, center. Just switch the hands down. Right hand down, left arm reaches up and over to the right. One more time each side. Inhale up. Right hand reaches up and over. Inhale up. Left hand reaches up and over. Inhale up. Little back bend by looking up as you exhale. Cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades together one more time. Inhale, a little back bend. 
Exhale, cactus and squeeze. Awesome job today, guys. What did you learn besides not ever exercising with your hair down? That those bands will make her dance. Awesome job, guys. If you want more, check out more of my videos. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're wanting something in particular, let me know in the comments below. Awesome job, guys. Have a good day.